Welcome back, and you're definitely watching Abled Differently. DECAS, which is Disability Empowerment, Capability and Sustainability, in conjunction with Mamasara Foundation, organized an event on the 6th of October this year to celebrate the World Cerebral Palsy Day at Bright Star School in Chumbi, Machakos County. Take a look. Aya, sauti, sauti, jimbo, sauti. DJ, man, DJ. DECAS, which stands for Disability Empowerment Capability and Sustainability, in conjunction with Mamasara Foundation, organized an event on the 6th of October 2021 to celebrate the World Cerebral Palsy Day. DECAS is an organization that aims at enabling persons with disabilities to realize their full potential, thus allows them to participate in and contribute to various aspects of life in the community. According to Professor Emmanuel Mutesia, the most important people in regards to disability are the caregivers. I am excited because we have people, we have organizations, we have partners who are considerate to those people who have special needs like you. Many people do not want to associate with you. We forget that the most important person behind you people who have special needs are the caregivers who support your lives every day. Partnerships play an important role in the success of many initiatives. Thanks to the Mamasara Foundation, persons with disabilities were awarded with wheelchairs and other goodies. Well, what we organized this event? They have a pressure. There is a community on our work pressure. Many a times, persons with disabilities are demoralized and frustrated. Cast transfer in a support severe disabilities. Na lakini kuna walemavu ambao wakosemu ambazo wakona ulemavu hii ya kawaida lakini wanateseka sana. So unapata huyo mtu hako na shida sana. Mi mungu wa menijalia ni kona hile kazi ya mbao nafanya na shiona anga sweta na shiona vitambaizi za ibrointari. So niko na kabia shara kangu ambako kana nisaidia kuendeleza maisha. Lakini pia kuna mala mule mavu mungine ambao wako semu maali ambapo hata haezi uza boga. Juhu hata kuendea boga, kukuja, haezi hiyo kazi. Pia kwa sababu ya semu zake za kukaa. So hile ambao ombilangu kwa serikali ni kama wanaeza toa hilo. Ako kakitu ambako kaliekwa kwa sivya, wakasema sivya disability ni wanastahili kupata transfer. Cash transfer at least waweke wale mavote kwa ujumla. Jumtu wakipata hiyo elfu mbili, hili naeza msaidia. Naeza nulia watoto wake chakula, ama azishe pia kakitu tu ambako, kaneza kaka msaidia. Tunatafuta mahali, tujenge ka ofisi, na tuweke ka business kidogo huko. Tunaweza kuweka kuku, tunaweza kupata mawiki, tunaweza kujisaidia. Hmm? Sasa, ikiwa kuna mtu anaweza kutusaidia, tutashukuru sana. We should learn to embrace all persons with disabilities in order to have an inclusive and an integrated society. Caregivers, tunawapatia course, diweze kusoma, diweze kudunua daipa, waweze kudunua chakura, waweze kushugurikia, ah, watu wako na disability, na tukona mamomigi tunafanya mahali pale, na tunamini kuwa, Let's take a look at the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Article 25 of the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities states that state parties shall part B provide those health services needed by persons with disabilities specifically because of their disabilities including early identification and intervention as appropriate and services designed to minimize and prevent further disabilities including among children and older persons. It's advisable to always make time for a child with Down syndrome to either play, have fun or go out. In so doing, they get exposed and learn how to handle tasks and also interact. We do it seamlessly because we're adults, we're able to understand, we can go from one thing to the next fairly easily, depending on if we want to or not. Um, for children and especially children with speech, language and communication difficulties, 
it takes them a little bit longer to understand and process that information. So you need to make it as easy as possible for them. Give them time. Lots of visuals. Lots of showing that something is finished. The kid can lie and then um, you, you, you know, lie on this, on this ball and then you, you can either move, move, move on a jota, mshika, mugu, hapa, then I, 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 I chase the, 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 the ball, there is, it, is, it is to do with the balancing, eh? Because there is also an issue uh, about balancing. Don't look at a kid just as a walking kid. Your baby is a, should be a walking baby, yes. They should be thinking babies. They should be social babies. They should be communicating babies. And they should be babies who can solve problems. And so, if by nature of your baby's condition they cannot walk, ask yourself, can they think? How do we know that they are thinking? And how much can they think? I'm a child behaviorist. Um, with a lot of desire to help in behavior modification of children from as early as when they are delivered. Uh, that is beginning from problems with breastfeeding, training them from that level at every, le at every stage of development, uh, helping in behavior modification for children with autism and even for children with cerebral palsy who because of the nature of delays that sometimes they have experience some um, uh, unusual baby behaviors or underdeveloped behaviors. As he explains, early intervention should start before the child is three years of age. Take this case where there is imminent speech delay in a kid, but then the mother keeps saying, no, you know even my neighbor's kid talked at four years. My kid will talk. Early intervention is any help that is offered to a baby below three years old. Uh, it can be preventive, it can be targeted towards curing a particular uh, condition that the baby has. The first point of intervention is to check for the high-risk infant. Where babies, the prematures, usually, uh, they're usually low birth weight. So, a weight between 2.5 up to around 3, 3.5 is no bad. But then the extremes, too low, too high, again, that can make a kid be within this bracket of uh, high infant, high risk infant. Uh, the other thing, um, at two, one to three months, if there's some history of convulsions, that uh, my baby has had convulsions, or that there is also a history of jaundice. But at some point, my baby had jaundice. Jaundice is this yellowing of the, of the skin. And the baby was put on phototherapy. The baby was put on incubator. There are things that happen quite often, but then there is a signal they send. We don't want to wait until the baby has complications, then we step in. But we walk with the mother and the baby so that whenever something is noted, it is dealt with immediately and when intervention is that timely and so early then there's usually very high chances of being able to manipulate once a case has been established it is easy to place the child in a learning facility when he or she is of age and this is where assessment comes in this is a point where i think parents should take a personal initiative why do I say this? We have very few facilities and very few professionals who can do comprehensive evaluations. Actually, even standardized scores are not widely used here in Kenya. Because if you want to test the IQ of a kid, if you want to test the nonverbal intelligence of a kid, you know, there are standardized tests that are being used to evaluate, but which are not really being used uh, here in Kenya are not widely embraced. So it becomes challenging to, uh, to place a kid accurately at their, place or at their level of performance. When it comes to this time of wanting to place a kid to school, the preschool age is four years uh, for children who don't have delayed, delayed milestones. But for children who have had delays, you may find that 
that may come even later, as late as five years or sometimes even six years. But once a kid reaches four years or even five years and there's some level of uh, cognitive uh, ability or social emotional connection, uh, some form of mobility, then it is only good that a parent can seek a professional, a professional guidance. In assessment, the five domains of functions are looked at. A human being, a baby and adult, has five domains, five, five core domains of functions. One, we have the motor. Motor is now walking, uh, touching, manipulating with the hand and with the leg, mobility generally. And then there is the cognitive skills, thinking, memory, problem solving, judgment. That is another area. The other area is now uh, is the social skills, uh, which now enables a kid or even an adult to interact with the, with the, with other people and they are the world uh, around them. And then the fourth one is the communication, and communication can either be verbal or nonverbal. It can be the use of gestures or it can be the use of spoken language. So that is the fourth area of function. And then the fifth one is what we call the adaptive skills. <clears throat> the interplay of these five systems, now that leads to complex, uh, complex actions. You are able to, <clears throat> to drive, reverse uh, for adults, for kids, they are able to make some complex decisions or solve some complex problems because of the interplay in these five areas. It is also important to know that therapy plays a key role in the life of a child who has been diagnosed with autism, cerebral palsy, and other developmental conditions. There are some cases which are very severe. I've interacted with uh, a number of cases of cerebral palsy, severe cerebral palsy, where a kid is 14 years, 15 years old, or even 20 years old, but they are still bedridden. They can't do so much. Even such kids, there's something we can still offer them. And that is comfort, peace, and a pain-free life. Because God has given them life. And they will live as long as God allows them to live. They will live as long as, scientifically, their systems is operating well. And so, in the days that they are alive, and that they should be alive, we must try and give them a comfortable life. And that is where now therapy for maintenance comes in, where a kid receives therapy, not because there's so much that is going to be achieved in terms of function, but because we want those joints to be soft and manipulatable. We want the body to be relaxed. We want them to be comfortable and not to be at pain. We've come to the end of the show, but be sure to join us next Sunday when time and space allows. I've been your host, Jane Theory. Goodbye. We are here and we are strong Let's be counted as we move on Make a difference, change lives As we tell our different stories We are capable, beautiful We are born to do great things We're unstoppable, incredible Cause we're differently abled Differently